Our next technique is aggressive twins. Aggressive twins is an orange technique. It's only done by adults. Juniors don't do it. Little dragons don't do it. Uh, the technique is a defense against a right, I'm sorry, a defense against a high two-hand push. The opponent is coming in like this. He's pushing with two hands. Now what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to get out of the way. When I did, uh, when I did checking the storm, I got to the 45 degree angle by stepping with my right foot. And now on this technique, I'm going to get to the 45 degree angle by doing a rear twist. So I'm standing here, the push comes in, and I'm going to twist back to the 45. My left hand is going to come up and it's going to check on the outside of the other person's left arm so that they can't turn towards me or track. They can't track towards me. And then I'm going to unwind with a hammering inward block. I'm going to side kick the knee. That's going to drop him to the ground. And I'm going to throw a roundhouse kick to the head. And then I'm going to cross over and cover up. So again, high two hand push comes in and my left hand goes in front. My right hand goes back and I unwind with a hammering inward block. Side kick to the knee, roundhouse kick to the head, and I'm up. From this direction, high two hand push comes in. I unwind with a hammering inward block, side kick to the knee, I put the foot down in a good fighting position, and I throw my roundhouse kick to the head. Again, from this angle, rear twist, unwind, hammering inward block, side kick to the knee, roundhouse kick to the head. From this angle, high two hand push comes in, I pick up the outside of the arm, unwind with a hammering inward block, side kick to the knee, roundhouse kick to the head, and I'm out. Again, rear twist, unwind hammering inner block, side kick, roundhouse kick. Full speed from each direction. From this direction. From this direction. And now Carrie's going to feed me. Side kick to the knee, roundhouse kick to the face. From this direction. Block, side kick the knee, roundhouse kick to the face. And from here. Side kick the knee, roundhouse kick to the face. Now, how we do this technique depends on which foot they step with, because we're going to get into an implosion versus an explosion. If, I'm, if the attacker is standing here and I kick the outside of the knee, they're going to land like this. They're going to land very close to me. I want to make sure I take that into account. If they step with the right foot, we get an explosion. I'm going to kick from the inside out, and they're going to fall out this way. They're going to be far away. Why that matters? Why that matters is because some people will say, don't worry about it. If they're too close, just throw a knee. Problem with that is, we start off with an understanding that I lost control of the range. I want to be in control of the range of the target. So, again, Carrie's going to come out, and she's going to step with her left leg. I go here, and I block. I do the side kick, and she drops. And if I plant here, she could spin around, come charging in, and she's right there. She's ready to hit me. She's ready to grab me, tackle me, whatever's going to happen. So, what I need to do, let's do it from this side, Carrie. She does the high two-hand push with her left foot. I go here, I block, I side kick the knee, and because I see she's close, I put my right down foot, my right foot farther away, and I hit the target. Let's do that one more time. One, two, here we go. I put it down farther away, and you can see I'm at the right range to the target. Let's do it from this direction. This time Carrie's going to step with her right foot. I go here and I block, and I side kick, she falls out that way. I might even have to step in, boom, and hit it. Or alternatively, she's going to fall. She's going to take just a moment to get back up, and I'll be ready for her. One more time. Do it again. Feed the right foot. One, lock, side kick. She's coming back up, and I kick the face. So I have to think about that. I have to think about where I put my foot down, because remember, where we put the base foot determines how far we are from the target. So if I do the technique and I go here, and I kick, and I realize they step with their left, and they're going to be close. I'm going to put my foot down over here. I'm going to do a roundhouse kick and hit them in the head. If they step with their right leg, I realize they're going to fall far away, so I'm going to kick, 
land, and I'm going to follow them, and you can see where I'm kicking. I kick here when they stepped with the left leg because they landed close, and I kicked way over here when they stepped with the right leg because I kicked them and they fell away from me. So that technique is aggressive twins. It is against a high two-hand push, and again, we're going to the 45-degree line with a twist, unwinding with a hammering inward block. Thank you.